Well, do you think it's going to rain? I doubt it. Been doing this for blooming days now. Big black clouds, nothing comes out. Really hot and humid, and that's what's left of a pile of 25 cubic meters of raw chook manure, which anybody who's worked with it will know it's smelly. Um, yeah, full of unexploded eggs, which uh, when you go near it, they go pop, and lots of flies. But it is banana food, so I've been putting it underneath the bananas. In this case, these are Mons Marie, and uh, they are sorely in need of food and a trim. So I'm just going through putting a pile around each uh, clump and then raking it and spreading it around and then I'll be coming back with some more pine mulch to build it up. The soil I've got in this part of the property is pure pipe clay. That's a white clay um, and it's got no nutritional value that I can see whatsoever. So I dig a hole, I fill it with compost, plant the plant and then fill around it with mulch to try and keep it mo the moisture in and of course the uh, chook poo now is for a bit of a dressing so that should do some good. If anyone's never seen a um, raisin tree in flower, ours is uh, flowering now. And these these uh, these trees are only uh, in their third year now. They're not even three years old yet. Um, as you can see, the bees are having a having a blast on there, and uh, it has got a nice smell, which sort of unfortunately is overpowered by the chook poo at the moment. So I've got a couple of those and a few bamboos around the place. Uh, anyone who attended that workshop, um, what is it, uh, yeah, be over a year ago now, but it was done in winter, wrong time of the year to do bananas. This is the state of the bananas from the, we put into the banana circle now. Um, that uh, halmoa, uh, the tall one at the back there, that uh, should, I think, uh, throw a flower um, probably in about two months' time, just right on winter. Um, these Cavendish at the front haven't fared so well. This is a dwarf Cavendish. Um, there's... Uh, they're doing all right. Um, I'm not going to put any chook poo on these. I want to keep these with just a feed of um, uh, compost um, from the garden, like uh, the, all the weed mass and rubbish we're putting in there, and just see how they perform. I suspect they'll go a bit slower, but I think they'll still grow and grow well. Um, just over here, I've got a, a, a dwarf, or an, uh, not dwarf Orinoco, what am I saying here? A uh, red dwarf, the uh, Jamaican red dwarf. Beautiful, beautiful looking plant looking a bit limp because it's such a hot day at the moment and I haven't got the water turned on but it'll, it'll be fine because it's got its uh, little moisture here and uh, I won't be selling that one for a while I want to propagate it and build up the numbers um, that's a little lacuma I popped in that's just a different plant and over by the playground uh, lots of lovely edible bananas uh, Lakatan and Halmoa and uh, that's my latest planting and that's where the hopper the 1890 banana etc have gone so that's the size I put them in that's what they're like a year later so yeah hope for us yet and I better go now because I've got a dog uh, with a job